Hi, and welcome to the Weekly Gear Update. I'm Ed Mobley. And I'm Steve Lawrence. Guys, for this week, we're gonna do a quick overview of the Auto Trickler combo that has the Auto Throw and the Auto Trickler combined and integrated with the FX120i Precision Skill. Many of you guys may be using equipment such as the RCBS 1500 Charge Master. In fact, Ed, you have two of those. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I've been running one now. This product um, has been available for over a year now as just the Auto Trickler. Um, what's new, and they recently came out with this about a month or so ago, late summer of 2017 timeframe, to add the auto throw. What this does is it um, will actually throw that first charge for you automatically. Uh, let's say you're wanting to get to a, a charge weight of 42.5 grains. You could set this up to automatically throw that 42 grains and then it'll trickle up to the additional 0.5 grains. Um, this is extremely fast. Um, as far as time savings, it's gonna be much faster than a charge master. And with this scale, this will weigh to one one hundredth of a grain. So it'll actually trickle to within a grain um, or a kernel of powder to the exact weight that you want. So a very nice, very nice setup. Yeah, and, and, and while the RCBS charge masters have served us well and they, they serve most shooters well, I mean, a lot of great shooters continue to use them. If you really want to remove a, a variable or a level of uncertainty and speed things up, I mean, this sounds like a, a really uh, terrific option. Yeah. Now, um, guys may have, you know, typical questions, and I had a whole series of questions before I bought this and contacted some guys that actually had this auto trickler set up to try and understand, well, how does it go together? Um, how long does it take? How do you actually use it? Um, we can answer a few of those questions. Um, we'll have a little bit more of a detailed write-up on this with some, with some pictures. But um, this comes as a kit. I found the instructions to be very clear and very concise. Didn't have any problems in terms of putting it together. You'll find that as far as the construction, a lot of the parts um, that go into it uh, are 3D printed. So um, this mounting here is 3D printed. If you actually go to the underside of this, um, this windscreen, um, that's 3D printed as well as the um, little pan that he has that goes underneath, the, underneath that is 3D printed as well. Um, there's some electronic parts that actually go onto the back end of the skill that provides the electronic integration of all of this. Um, that's provided as well. So the instructions as far as putting it all together um, was fairly clear. It only took me about 20 minutes to put the whole thing together and get it up and running. Um, what you'll see here that's not included, this um, comes with a 3D printed base. This base is an accessory provided by Area 4, um, 419. So a shout out to them. Um, this is a build aluminum stand. Um, what's different is it's very heavy, so um, you want want that stability just for the precision, right. so no vibrations. So you just swap out the, the motor that Yeah, that, you that swap comes out the it, stepper yeah. motor. And again, um, this swap out only took me about um, less than 10 minutes to do. But uh, I found that um, the way this is machined out um, was very clean, looks very professional. I like the fact that it is height adjustable, so you can adjust the height. Oh, that is nice. Um, I see you made some en enhancements besides this base. You, you also drilled a, a hole in the uh, breeze uh, Yeah, the breeze screen, screen um, again, a scale of this nature is gonna be affected by, by everything, including any type of breezes or drafts. So they provide you with the breeze screen. In order to have the trickler come through, I actually drilled a hole through this breeze screen, and I adjusted the height for this pan setup. Now, what you The pan setup doesn't look uh, like the OEM <laughs> setup either. Correct. Um, the pan setup does not come with this um, yellow container. What you'll see here is this is actually a prescription medicine bottle that actually hacked off the very top end. What I found in use is for fine powders, so in this case I was using 8208 XBR, um, because you're coming through a drop tube into a pan, 
some of the grains would actually splash out right. onto the scale pan. Um, so it made it inaccurate because then I'd have to blow off those kernels to continue the, the loading. So I actually wanted to increase the height of the pan and um, some guys online had said they were using shot glasses. What I found um, in my little um, hack was to uh, just get a medicine bottle actually fit the OEM pan um, precisely. Just put a little bit of super glue at the bottom and compressed it down, let it dry and um, I was good to go. And I also noticed here that the extension here just appears to be a, a standard drinking straw so you could uh, adjust the uh, the height That's accordingly. True. Yeah, it actually comes with three straws. He provides three straws so you can experiment with the height that's best for your use or if you found find a different powder that you want a, a longer or shorter straw, um, you could swap those out. So you found uh, speed, accuracy. Again, we haven't done any test yet, you know, with this versus the 1500. I, I could see a, an upcoming uh, video there. But were there any drawbacks uh, as far as, as the use of, of this? Because I don't see, for example, numbers on here where you could dial That's in. That's a, a good uh, observation. So um, one of the nice things about a unit like the Hornady 1500 not horny, the RCBS 1500 yeah. Charge Master is you can actually manually program the weight and it'll actually um, get you there within the tolerances of that, that tool. This does not work that way because um, the scale is, is really sort of a lab scale. The way this works is you have to manually tr um, charge and trickle up to the weight that you want um, to within one one hundredth of a grain. Once that's set, you hit the start button, or in this case it's print, that will actually set the scale and the electronics to say that that's the weight that you want. At that point, you go ahead and toss that charge into your first case. As soon as you replace the empty container, um, and it, the pan will automatically zero out, once it achieves zero, it'll actually charge the next charge. So it'll actually auto throw that, that charge weight and then trickle up to the weight that you've programmed in. So um, you'll take that, dump that into the next mm -hmm. case and you'll continue that process until you're done. Once you're done or you want to change to a new charge weight, you hit the stop button or in this case mode and um, it'll stop that process. It'll be ready to program a new weight. So I could see if you're charging you know, a bunch of rounds with a consistent weight that would work very well, but if you're doing a ladder test, it sounds like it it might be a little arduous. Uh, it is. Yeah. yeah, in fact, I just, um, you know, because we have the uh, the new Arbros rifles, uh, it was creating some ladder test loads, and yeah, it took a little bit longer than expected using this tool just because you don't have the ability to actually program a specific weight through an interface. Again, you know, the benefits and drawbacks to, to everything, but I mean, you do ladder tests occasionally, but you charge a lot of ammo consistently. Yeah. So clearly, uh, given the speed, and, and you said, I mean, for a typical charge, you know, for 308, which is gonna be 40 some odd grains, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, typically how long does it take, you know, when you put the empty pan in there? And um, I found it testing probably around five seconds. That's pretty good. Yeah, from the time you drop that um, from the time of the, you put the pan underneath here and it zeroes out, it'll take about five seconds before it's, it's ready to, uh, to pull out. Well, it's very comforting. I mean, you can at least eliminate one variable. I'm really curious to see when you chronograph those loads, what you see from an SD and ES, maybe mm -hmm. uh, you'll kind of achieve the holy grail of having ES <laughs> well under uh, 10 feet per second as Scott yeah. Satterley seems to always uh, be able Absolutely. to do. Now, um, one other thing here on the back, um, there is a slider um, in this electronics module that you actually will integrate all of us into the scale. What that slider is for is it changes the how fast the trickler will trickle up mm -hmm. to your target weight. So if you find that in some cases you're going over um, by, you know, let's say two, two one hundredths of a grain. <laughs> Some people might laugh at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so you're actually shooting over where you want to be. You can actually slow this down um, 
to a certain degree, actually have mine set to the slowest speed. Um, I still found that to be plenty fast. But um, I did thought that was a thoughtful addition that um, you can modify that. Well, with the coarser grain powders, you may be able to set it to a higher speed. Because I know the 8208, when using the Charge Master, because it's so fine grained, it'll arrive at the just the right charge, and then they're like two or three other grains that just fall out. Just fall out, you know, yeah. just just right off the off the precipice. So if you're getting five seconds at the s slowest speed. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure you can yeah. really get In fact, this. you could probably control some of that to a certain degree with this um, base from Area 419 because the way it's set up, you can actually change the incline mm -hmm. of the trickler with this base. So right. um, if you want nice. more of a sharper incline, you know, that, that powder is going to trickle out just a little bit faster. Well, that's a very nice setup. So again, all in the, like pricing, right? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so. You know, for a setup like this, obviously it's going to be more than a charge master. Um, in fact, the scale comes separately. It's actually sold from a, a different company. I bought it through a Canada Canadian company, um, and this was just over five hundred um, with shipping. Your U.S. Get, U.S. So okay. um, again, um, you see the prices are going to be in Canadian dollars. You're going to end up paying in U.S. dollars. So. About 550 US all on with shipping to your door for the scale. And then for the auto throw and auto trickler setup, that's 400 US. Okay. Um, so all in, you're gonna be into it for a little over 900 and change. And if you elect to upgrade the base again, what was and that? And the base is 65. Okay, um, again, that's so about $1,000. Yeah, so about $1,000, but um, for uh, the speed, the level of precision, um, for me, I, th I thought I thought it was worth it. Well, I'm I'm certainly uh, going to uh, see how this works out uh, for you. I'm certainly going to look at your chronograph results, and if you get under that uh, holy grail of uh, well, again the, yeah. the 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 powder charge is just one component, right? Yeah. I mean the brass re the the oh, consistency, absolutely. the brass resizing, uh, neck tension, all that. I mean, there's other factors at play, but again, as you had mentioned, this is just one more variable that you it can is. control. It, it is, and, and I think right now where we are is we've controlled most of the variables that could be controlled. And I know when we do our chronograph tests, you know, we'll, we'll typically get, you know, four to, four to five, five feet uh, SD mm -hmm. and extreme spread, you know, a little bit over 10, yeah. right? And it would be interesting to see is, you know, having optimized the, those other variables, what's the incremental benefit yeah. of this, yeah. right? And, and so now for those of you who are getting into the sport, this, this is an advanced technique. Don't think like, oh my God, I got to spend a thousand bucks to compete. No, the Charge Master is just fine. You could probably just use a Herald uh, or any Culver type powder measure and, and Correct. You, would, you would be fine. But yep. again, uh, given our desire to sort of explore every nook and cranny of the sport. Uh, this this is one of them right here. Yeah, yep. So there you have it, guys. Um, again, hopefully you found this interesting and, and useful. If you want more information, be sure to check the write-up on our website, and um, there'll be more information there. Hopefully you found this useful. Remember, folks, life's an adventure. Stay on target.